Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And uh, today we are here to understand how to use a VLOOKUP function with the help of an example. So uh, here's a very simple one. Uh, we have two tables. One of the tables uh, has data of items in a given shop. Uh, and in table two, we have the IDs of those items and their respective prices. Now our task today would be to match the ID from table one with table two and bring its respective prices back to table one. Um, this can be done easily with, with the VLOOKUP formula. And uh, just in case you're not sure about some spreadsheet formulas or Excel formulas, especially in Google Sheets, uh, don't get nervous. You just need to go ahead and type the formula on the search bar or the function bar, and it will guide you through the whole process. So in case of VLOOKUP, you just need to type here VLOOKUP, and it will give you suggestions in order to understand how it must be working. So you don't have to always remember in your head. But believe me, if you will be doing these formulas every day uh, for a long time, you will be able to remember everything. You won't have to look for these things. But anyway, a key is helpful. So over here, we have four elements to the VLOOKUP formula. The first is search key, which in this case would be the ID that we'll be looking for from table one into table two. The range, which means where we will be looking for the information, that's table number two. Index, that's representing the column which we wish to bring, wish to return back to table one. In this case, it will be the price and is sorted or do you wish to bring an approximate value, first approximate value or an ex exact value in this case? So we look up by default words on an approximate value. So just in case, if you forget to add this element, it will consider it to be an approximate value. However, do remember to, to add a false or a zero in case you wish to know the exact figure that needs to go out there. So let's get started. Hmm. So let's let's say we need to bring the value or the price of water in this case. So I'll just go down to the cell of water for the price and apply a formula here, which is we look up what will be the search key. Here will be the ID that I'm looking for, comma. I will go ahead and search the entire range of table two in order to make sure that I am able to find this price. So I went here. Now, I wish to bring the second column, which is the price of this particular ID. Uh, so I will be selecting column number two and whether or not I need an exact match or an approximate match. So I need an exact figure of what the water prices are. So I will put here zero or a false and we get the price as $4.50. Now, if you go ahead and match this price, just, just do normal amount of, I will just show you that the price for water is $4.50. So in this case, if you wish to drag down the formula, do make sure that the range that you're using is locked because with the drag down, there is a chance that the range uh, might also change. So make sure that this range is protected. You can uh, use command F4, function F4, uh, in order to do that. And there we go. And now when we drop it down, you will be able to get VLOOKUP prices for all other products as well. You could actually just drag it up and see the whole prices. So that's it for the VLOOKUP formula. It's very, very useful for big data sets and managing data. There are more complications and advanced features of a VLOOKUP, how to use it with array formulas, how to use it uh, uh, with multiple columns, etc. So be, feel free to subscribe to the channel and uh, look forward for more such contents with advanced setup. Thank you and see you.